This is what you'll see in tomorrow's vlog. Oh no! Oh! Snow day! Colin and Katie ready for round three. Their smiling faces are what we want to see, yeah. Their dink is junk vlog and keeps us coming back for more. Great family and pets, it's like they're at our front door. Vlogging every day is no easy job. So come and join the family chick 1101 mom. Hey guys, what's going on today? Hope you're having a great one. I'm running some errands. My nose is like all oh, like, why? I sound like I've got a sinus infection, but I don't. I just need to clean it out. You know what I mean, Vern? And I've got both the pups. They just wanted to come along with me for the ride. I might stop by the dog park. I don't know. I like to spoil them way too much. Oh, uh, there's a worm rider. There's a little chihuahua. Hike that leg, boy. Dang. We made it to another dog park out here, guys. Look at my shadow. Jump Ada, jump over the rail. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is Ada's this is the first dog park we ever came to when Ada was a puppy. She used to have some of the best friends here before we had to move to Tallahassee. This one used to have a lot of college kids come and bring like not so well trained dogs. So it's always kind of iffy, but it's so wooded out here. They have a good time. Ada Bill, you having fun? Oh, now comes the daunting task of tackling Walmart. It is always a task coming in here. The golden arches, they make me want food. Katie woke up this morning and I was like, girl, you stink. You need to get some D.O. for your B.O. She was like, I'm out, Colin. I need you to go to Walmart and get me some. I was like, okay, sweetie, I'll be glad to do that for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I called her though and told her I was at the dog park and she asked me if I could go get her some because she needs some. And she likes all, she likes some of like cucumber or something. I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Twin value pack. Or the pomegranate. Ooh, I don't know. Bacon! Making that bacon! It's turkey bacon. Oh yeah. I can't remember there was bacon on the counter. It smells counter. like, a, you know how when you make bacon, I got the window open, it smells like a freaking bacon house in here. We are back from running our errands in the dog park, and just so you know, We are. I ain't After around. all of your, you're back from work. Hey. That scarf is cute. Thanks. Whenever I posted a picture the other day on Instagram of Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Biscuit Mix, everybody wanted to know how it was. The funny thing was, I just took a picture of them. I didn't actually buy them, except for today I did because everybody said I had to try them. So yeah, that's right, Ada Bell, they sure did. So I got these, and you just basically use shredded sharp cheese, a package of Cheddar Bay, a package of third cup of butter, and the garlic stuff, and oh, uh, supposedly they're dank as junk. Are they, they we're not making them tonight, are we? No, maybe you could do like a soup. That sounds good. Cooking with Katie Pie. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, and while I was out running errands, I stopped by the post office and we have a couple things here. This don't is don't do it like that. You do it like this. Freaking sweet. And we got another postcard from the same guy. Somehow we never vlogged about it. Yeah, I don't think we vlogged about it. Freddie, and it's like it's like a um, plastic. Like it's like a it's almost like a driver's license. <laughs> Random comparison. It's just because a credit it, card. it has this. Like if it has I know, that. But I've never seen a face card like that. No, I know, but I'm just saying it's like one of the things that has this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It says, Dear Cullen and Katie, I now find myself in Dubai for New Year's Eve. They're planning on setting a world record for the longest fireworks show. I had to see it for myself. And Freddie, Freddie, I believe, is serving overseas um in the military. So um he also said that this this is the world's tallest building on the Dubai fountain. Fountain? Did I say that right? <laughs> Fountain and the world's largest dancing fountain, and he said it's Dankus John. So. Dankus John. Thank you, Freddie, Dank for the junk. cards and keeping us posted when you go to different places and for your service. I am hoping I'm not wrong with the fact that you're in the military. I think that's. I don't true. think I made that up. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. And we also got a package from RC Vlog. He sent us a package from a candy store that's famous in Colorado. Yes. Colorado. Hammond's Candies. Hammond's. And he tried to send us something at Christmas from there. And long story short, just in case y'all ever try to send anything to us, FedEx won't deliver to the post office box. Like they, cause you know, FedEx and the UPS are, I mean USPS are like in competition. It ended up getting sent back there because they wouldn't deliver it there and we couldn't go get it at the FedEx here. You were very yellow by the way. We got a letter from their shipping manager. Get back to yellow. 
Dang, sorry. <laughs> well, anyways, we got a letter from their shipping manager saying that it was they apologized and it was their fault, so they sent us some Valentine's candies instead. Thank you. Look how cute. There's like a, um, I don't wanna break it. A sucker, a Valentine's little heart sucker. Doesn't that look good? Ooh, I can't wait. Dos suckers, tres suckers, quattro suckers. Oh, four suckers for that. And then this looks like, ooh, a milk chocolate heart. Oh, snap. I think that's about caramel in it. Oh. Caramel marshmallow milk chocolate oh, heart. Oh, kill them. Hammond's Mitchell Sweets. Vanilla cream. Caramel and marshmallow. Yum. I told Cullen Juan Pablo and I are gonna be enjoying these for dinner. <laughs> or he and I will enjoy them with Juan Pablo, I guess, for dinner. Thank y'all for sending the Thank stuff in the so PO much. box. We really appreciate it. All our PO box information is below. We love getting gifts from y'all and showing them on the vlog. We've gotten some more stuff uh, in the past. And did we show everything? Did we, we I feel like about, we never talked about any of that. We it's talked still... about Chris Clive's, his uh, DVD, I think. Yes, you did talk about we it. We still haven't watched it yet, dude, but we are getting on it. We will have to watch it. I'll have to play yes, it in the that computer. Was like, I feel like that was like the day before Christmas and then this just got put here. Yeah, it was, it was This crazy. was the other one from Freddy from Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Thank you so much. Hashtag CK swag. And this wasn't mailbox swag. This was personally delivered swag. I just ate a piece of bacon and it's all in my teeth. My mom um, gave us this yesterday. It's a red velvet cake cupcake. Slice but it literally it. smells like a red velvet cupcake. Give me a slice. Okay. Do you want to build a dinner? Out of the freezer, it's so cold. Let's make leftovers. That I made in December. <laughs> they're not old. No, no, they're not. <laughs> they are very good. You, come here. <laughs> I've never seen the video. <laughs> I'm just playing with Frozen. We've been watching the Shea Tarts and Avia and Princess Tart or whatever her name is, you know. <laughs> she was singing this snowman song. I'm sure y'all have all seen it, but that song gets in your head and I've never even seen the video. I mean the video, the movie. Is it a good movie? Have y'all seen Frozen? We wanted to take the niece and nephews. But we never did. But we never did. Because we're bad aunts and uncles. We're horrible. Skinny Tex-Mex casserole. If you remember, mm. I made this for Brooke when we went to see her baby mm. back in December. Macro vision, baby. Macro. Yeah. Look at that. There's like a little tiny oh. bit of steam coming off. My goodness gracious, with the little crunch of the celery stick. If the Pink Panther had a to-do list, what would it look like? It's not, that's not right. Yeah. To-do, 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 to-do. But I thought it was, no. There's different variations of There's it. There's one that's, that's like, one what I've does he heard. say when he's finished with his dinner? Like, I'm da done. One of y'all left that joke on the. I went back. See, the thing is, is on the joke on the spit take jokes. We randomly just like scrolled through and stopped and picked one, so we didn't like know what the joke was coming. So that's why afterward I was like, oh, these are some good jokes. So not not to say that the ones that we read weren't good. I mean, they were all good. There are other good ones. We just couldn't read them beforehand. Or else it wouldn't be funny when we read them. So we had to just like scroll and be like, okay, that one. <laughs> You're right. Right. <laughs> let, let me show y'all first. Let me just show you what is expected for tomorrow. Can you, can you just sit down? Can you just sit? Or you may want to stand up. No. But let yeah. me just show them. Hang on. We're about to give you a debriefing of Alabama weather and advisory and why and everybody freaks out whenever there's like a freaking raindrop in our state. No, a snow drop. Oh, it's dropped down to 27. That's it. <laughs> I got excited. 40% chance of snow. 40%. That means maybe. And they're predicting that there is, it's actually going to be South Alabama there's going to be snow. But tomorrow in um, Birmingham where we live, there's predicted like maybe a few flurries possibly a dusting on grassy areas, which means there'll be a little tiny bit on the grass and not even on the roads. Let me just show you why everybody freaks out here. School closings, delays, all this stuff. <laughs> Look let at me, this. Let me show you what they show us, okay? This is, this is what they show us on the local news. The delays and what schools are closed. The winter weather system could make commuting a real hassle. Oh, <laughs> it's not supposed to come till noon. It's gonna make commuting a real hassle. Watch. Watch these screenshots. Watch, these, the, watch the, the, the graphics. B, the B-roll. The background. <laughs> is they're talking about making the roads safe, okay? This is hilarious. Because this is not a file video. Look at that. That's what like a blizzard. Look at that. It's not going to look like that. <laughs> That's like Chicago and Minnesota. Like, Auburn's canceled classes. If they have one of the misnomers, if you have a four wheel drive vehicle, you can drive on ice. Look at that. <laughs> That's not what it's going to look like. They make people think. 
We always hear about <laughs> and well, caution, to... caution, stay off the roads, ice and salt. Okay, they're trying to educate us on this and trying to warn us. And then they show people graphics like that. I, if I was like some old lady, I'd be freaking out that it's going to look like my that mom, tomorrow. Mom, Granberry called me tonight and she Jeez. was like, did you go get your bread and milk? Not saying Granberry's an old lady. No, uh, but she just, she was kidding as well. But you know, she was like, did you go get your bread and milk? And I was like, for what? <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, but, but they make crazy. people freak out because of the news. Oh, wait, we didn't show them the, oh my you gosh. Show the power button B-roll? Oh yeah, and then listen. Uh, just trying to get friction. It might just be saying. Turn it up. Oh, you know. getting some uh, possible black eyes. Okay, now what, what is this shot right here, guys? What is this? A power button on a screen. <laughs> Did he relate that to manpower? Is that manpower why there's a random power, with a power button? button? Welcome to Alabama with our snow. It's better to stay off the roads. But the, oh, it's better it's to stay, better off, to stay the off the roads. But the B-roll clip they showed, I was just like, oh my god, that's like a freaking downstorm blizzard they just showed, acting like that's going to happen tomorrow. They're showing the computers off again. Guys. So down trees are power lines. You guys, one to two inches. <laughs> and they're talking about down trees are power lines. Oh my goodness. Like maybe, maybe that <laughs> maybe this will be wrong and it will be a, the biggest snowstorm, ice storm of the century, and we can get excited about that. Really? If really? you have down trees are power it's an inch of snow. What you talking about, Willis? We freak out in Alabama over this because of stuff like this. It's all, it's all the media processed hype. in the media. And it's if you media went to the grocery store, let me just see. If, let me oh see if my gosh. Gonna, I bet um, Spam likes to retweet. James Spam, if you're from Alabama, you know who he is. He likes to retweet people that post pictures of the bread and milk being missing. Like, okay, tell me, those of y'all that live up north, when it snows, are you supposed to make a bread and milk sandwich or something? Because why does everybody <laughs> buy bread and milk? I mean, yeah. Like, I, we, people who don't eat sandwiches or drink milk ever will go to the store and buy bread and milk when it's about to snow. Yes, yes. I don't understand. Oh, Emma said, I'm ready for the snow. I got my jacket on. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. That's Look at it. It says, currently out of stock. We will have more when weather permits. <laughs> it's a dusting. It's a one to two. That's a bread aisle. That's like, why, why do uh, people get bread? Is bread like something that you can like eat and stay healthy on? Uh, like, you're not. They people freak out. I think, but that's why I love Alabama and why I love snow. Cause you get a threat of snow and everything shuts down. And you get to stay home for the day, and it's just fun. yes, yes. Anything, even like bad storms coming in. And I mean, granted, with t tornadoes and stuff, that's nothing to play around with. Like we've. But... If there was an inch of snow tomorrow. There would be wrecks and people running off the road. And if they hadn't canceled schools, people would cause a conniption that, oh my goodness, my kid is at school and it has snowed an inch and I've got to go get him because my car can't make it there. Yeah. Like, we don't know how to drive in snow. So, I mean, that's part of it too. Yeah. Up north, you have learned. Whenever it thinks of even getting cold here, they're like, now when you hit an icy patch, don't hit the brakes. And, you know, they tell yeah. you all the... Stuff. Crazy. I just put chains on my feet and start walking. Wow, the funny webs that karma weaves through our lives. Guys, right now, as I speak, it is currently 8.15 Central Standard Time. Katie left her office this morning at 11.15 Central Standard Time, and she is still not home. The traffic has been crazy. The light dusting that they predicted yesterday versus the pictures they showed in the vlog that we just talked about were accurate. The, the pictures were accurate. The light dusting they predicted was not accurate. So everybody is stranded. It has been a nightmare today. As you kind of saw in the beginning of the vlog, that's just a taste of what you'll get tomorrow's vlog is gonna be epic I think I haven't seen any of Katie's footage yet but I can't wait to see what she has when she gets here pray that she gets here in one piece she is still working her way here and it is freezing below freezing temperatures and it's dark and it's dangerous out there thanks a lot guys for watching today's vlog don't forget to check out yesterday's vlog it's right there on the screen I scared uh, brother-in-law's father with a fake spider. Uh, one year ago is the one, two years ago is the two. The subscribe button's there for you to click on so you get the video notifications every day. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and don't forget to like this vlog. We really appreciate all the love and support and all the kind words that y'all show. We love y'all. We will catch you on the flip side. Bye.